Hi friends, welcome. A few days ago, I posted a photo of a Christmas caroler that I had made over on my Facebook page, uh, Down a Country Lane, and also um, on another page that I have over there called uh, Country Lane Handmaids. And this is a little Christmas caroler that, uh, that I showed you guys there. And there were some questions as to how I put it together, so I, um, I told you that I would do a video, and so uh, that's what I'm doing today. Now, the bell that you're going to use, this is just um, some lace uh, glued on a Dollar Tree bell. It's just one of the solid bells that you can get from Dollar Tree. And... Um, I don't have another one to do an actual tutorial, but I'll just run through this and show you how I did, you know, everything to put it together. Now, this is this lace here. I think I had told you guys in the photo that the lace I used was pre-gathered, and I thought it was, but it was not. I just, you know, I'd forgotten, um, but it's actually flat lace. There's There are no gathers in it, you can see there. But, um, now... When I put my lace on, I gathered, I made some little pleats as I went around. I just started in the back hot gluing. And I put pleats about every, I don't know, about every inch or so, all the way around, just to give her dress um, that fullness there. And then I would move up... Um, you know, half an inch, an inch or so. Now, I've got it pretty close there, you can see, um, for that, you know, that second layer. But up here, I spaced it out a little bit more as I went up. And um, when you get up here to the, uh, like, it, you know, it kind of looks like the shoulder area, I just let that be the last layer for the actual dress part. And then I formed like a little collar here. And, um, I'll get back to that in just a little bit, but I want to tell you about this bell. Now, when you get these bells, they have a piece on the top like this, just a little ring like that, and they have a decoration here. You know, this is through the top of the bell there. And if you look, there is like a hole here and a hole here in the side of that bell. And that is where this piece runs all the way through that top piece and it fastens like a shower curtain hook just like that and you just pop that loose and just take it loose and you know just pull this out and you know cut the decorations off of course save these things for something else you might use them in another craft or something okay now to get back to the little um i get i call it the collar piece um I took a, about a nine inch piece of this lace and I just cut it and I took a needle and thread and just done a running stitch through here and then I just pulled my lace down and gathered it to where it would have quite a few gathers in it and then I just fit it around uh, you know around the little neck piece and I made sure that it would overlap in the back right here just a little bit and then I just glued it on there and just, you know, as I said, just overlap it there a little bit. So that's all I did for that. Now for the arms, I took an eight inch piece of this and I folded it in half. And of course, you know, I cut it there and it would be um, cut up here too. And, uh, you know, you'll... You'll cut it here and then just put your scissors in here and snip it across here. And I put just a thin uh, bead of glue through, you know, both pieces here and here. And then I just glued these together with, you know, a bead of glue here and a bead of glue here, as I said. And Then you're going to take a pipe cleaner and fold it in half and you're going to leave a little bit of um, like a loop at the end to form her hands. And then the rest of this, you know, you're just going to twist your pipe cleaner together all the way up. 
And when you get that done, insert the pipe cleaner, leaving her hand sticking out the, the end here of the sleeve, and let it come out up here. And just measure it up here about how long you, you know, would want the hand to, you know, come out the end of the sleeve. And I just put a little pleat in the sleeve, just like that and hot glued it right here just hot just put some hot glue there and glued that right down there and you can then form your um you know your sleeve however you want it you know bend it around there and make it look like she's holding the book okay and then for this part for the trim i used some of this trim it's craft ribbon from walmart and i just um looped it around here around this sleeve just like this hot glued it on and then snipped it down here that's all i did for that now for the hat the little bonnet i gathered up a piece about four and a half inches long i cut um, i just cut a piece of this lace about four and a half inches and I came in here, in this area here, with a running stitch, and I gathered that up, and I glued one side over here, I glued it down, and then I just drew this up, left my needle in there, needle and thread, and I drew this up to where it would fit on there pretty snug, and then I just um, held it, fastened it off, um, you know, fastened my thread off, and then I hot glued it onto the head. And when I did that, I had an area back here of this lace that was just sticking back here, you know, just straight back. And I did another running stitch from from the end, you know, from end to end. And I just drew this up, just gathered it up and fastened it off and put a little bit of hot glue right there. So that's all there is to that. And then I just did uh, some of this trim right here. Just over this area, hot glued it over here, put a little dab of hot glue up here, and then one down here. And for the, it looks like the bonnet uh, strings, um, I just made a bow and hot glued on there. And for the book, I used the back of a, a, a greeting card, just a Christmas card. And this measures an inch and a half by two inches, I believe it is. You could make it any size you want. Now, since I posted the picture, I've added a little um, tassel on here and some little gold trim here down the center of the book. Um, for the notes, the note, uh, the songbook page here, I have a stamp, and I just stamped on some scrap uh, computer paper, just printer paper, and just made it look like um, pages in a songbook, and I just kind of turned these up. I just glued it to the little book back, just glued it right in the center right here, and I didn't want these pages totally glued down. I wanted to be able to turn them back just a little bit, and so that's how I did that, and um, I think she turned out pretty cute. Um, if you guys uh, have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. Now, I'm going to show you something else that I did. And I put this together the same way. It's an angel. And this angel was made with a silver bell. And her little arms um, up here, I didn't think that she needed sleeves. I, this lace is... Now, this is a pre-gathered lace. Um... There's a double layer there of the lace. And this is just a scrap piece that uh, I had used for something else. But I'll just show you here. Um, I still, even though this is pre-gathered a little bit, I still put pleats in this one to make, uh, to make it full. And then for the wings, I used some craft fleece. Now, this is the stuff that you put in, um, like, handbags and things to give them that softness. Kind of like a quilt batting, but it um, it feels more like a, a little bit thicker felt. Um, but it's a fleece, you know, it's washable, you know, all that stuff. But anyway, I just used a uh, cardboard uh, 
like a cereal box and I just laid it down um, just you know cut cut out a little square and I just cut out half a wing I just you know just free-handed it um, cut out half a wing and of course if you want to do one of these you'll place this area on the fold and you know trim it up however you need to and uh, you know and then you will when you unfold this you'll have the wings and for for this part here it is a trim that I bought at Walmart, and it, it's wired. It's uh, the gift trim. It was $1.47, and um, they had some the last time I was at my Walmart, so you might want to check, but, you know, you could use anything for the trim on there. And um, it has some silver uh, tinsel in it, and so I hot glued um, the trim around all the way around and then I turned it over and I did the same thing on the back so it's you know front and back so it's uh you know it has I just thought it looked nicer and it covered up that uh, raw edge of the craft fleece now you could use um if you wanted to you could use felt you could use cardboard if you wanted to whatever you want to use but um you know that's just another idea and then for her head on this one I used the table tennis balls just used one of those and the little star in her hand was just a button I had in my stash so um, I think she turned out pretty um, the uh, the halo was just a pipe cleaner so so there you go I'm still picking you know glue strings off off of my projects here but anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you have any more questions, um, just leave them over on my Facebook page or um, down below this video and I'll get back to you. But um, you guys, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate you going and hitting that subscribe button. And uh, you guys um, be blessed. Till next time, happy crafting.